Hey guys, the Fobra here. Uh, in my last video, I was using a program called Virtual Dub to get rid of the timestamp on my 808 Spy Cam. And if you remember, the 808 Spy Cam, uh, the number six version at least, puts a timestamp on the lower left. The number three puts it on the lower right, depending on what version you have. Um, while I'm not sure if I'm going to use the 808 uh, exclusively on my bike or my vlog, my future vlogs. I am trying to just investigate, is there a better way to do it? So last time I used something called Logo Away. It was a filter, and I put the URL in, there, URL in the last um, uh, video's uh, description. And, you know, I, I got mixed results. I was happy that it was gone, but I didn't like the blurriness where the timestamp used to be. So then I started playing around with, you know, changing the size. Uh, this time I'm using something called... Uh, I'm using the same virtual dub program, but there's something called timestamp remover, which, you know, oddly enough, removes the timestamp, and I think it has much better results. So what I'm going to show you is um, uh, the original, about, whatever, nine seconds of it, and then the same video that has had that filter applied to it, and we'll see if this comes out better than the logo away. Another side benefit of um, using Virtual Dub is the ability to compress it. And uh, uh, using, uh, I think I was using a DivX codec. Uh, what was great is that the video I had, I don't even know, it was, it was uh, about 1.4 gigs. I mean, the videos that come out of the 808 are really large. Um, the one after it was compressed was like 145 megs. So you're talking about it being one tenth of the size. Uh, so much better, and I don't see much degradation in quality, if at all. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. Like I said, check the um, check the description for links and settings on how to apply this filter, because it's going to ask you for the positioning of the logo itself and the size. And I used the same information that I used in the last video, the X, Y coordinates and the pixels and, and whatnot. And uh, I, I think I might have to do this. I think I might take whatever I get from this camera, uh, put the timestamp remover filter on it, and then output it, compress it, and then use it with a movies maker. And uh, I, like I said, I hope this helps people in the future. And um, you know, can't ve can't you know can't take the bike out. So I guess this is what I'm going to be playing with. Uh, try to get ready for the spring. All right, see ya.